Brethren, as you prepare yourselves to partake in the Lord's Supper, I want to encourage you that there is indeed power in the act of eating. If I take you back into the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve disobeyed God by their act of eating, God in his own divine love has ordained or instituted another channel for us to receive or restore back to us all that we lost in the first Adam. And this is the Lord's Supper. God is reverting all the diseases, sicknesses, premature death, pains, griefs, shame, name them all, that we lost or we forfeited in the first Adam, we are blessed as believers in Christ to be restored back all that we forfeited in the first Adam through Jesus Christ, the second Adam. So get prepared. Thanksgiving, uh, Eucharist or the Lord's Supper is all about thanksgiving. Giving thanks to God for his love that he showered and constantly show us through Christ our Lord Jesus. Therefore, get your elements ready. When I mean, when I say element, I mean your piece of bread, your piece of biscuits, and the fruit juice. And if you do have the communion wine, you are blessed. So get them ready as we partake in the Lord's Supper. Dearly beloved in the Lord, in the night that Jesus was betrayed he took bread and after he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said this is my body broken for you take it amen beloved before you ingest this body perceive it or see it as the broken body of our Lord Jesus Christ for you at the cross. That all the fiery judgments, the punishments that you deserve in your body because of your sin, God sent his son Jesus Christ and at the cross, Jesus allowed his body to be broken for your healing and for your wholeness and by his stripes you are healed and by perceiving this piece of bread or broken body by perceiving this piece of bread or piece of biscuit in your hand that it's the true representation of our Lord Jesus Christ's body then you are discerning the Lord's body worthily and that justify you to be a partaker so thank god for his act of love which he demonstrates or demonstrated for us at the cross by his son jesus christ amen partake Dearly beloved in the Lord, in the same vein, Jesus took the cup after the broken bread and after he has given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, this is the cup of my blood in the new covenant, which was shed for the remission of your sins. Do this as often as you can. In the remembrance of me amen 
Brethren, I uh, earlier on mentioned that there is power in the act of eating. Again, if I refer you back to the night of the Passover, it was the blood of an animal that the Israelites put at their lentil and their doorposts and and the Lord said to them that when he sees the blood he will pass over them remember that is the power of the blood of an animal how much more you blessed to be covered by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that is how blessed you are and again so in the Old Testament Annually, the priests atone for the sin of the nation of Israel once a year by sacrificing animals and sprinkle, sprinkling of the blood of that animal on the altar or on the Ark of the Covenant. Today, your sins are not washed by the blood of an animal by the blood of a bull or goats but by the cleansing and redeeming blood of our lord jesus christ and if the blood of an an, an animal can cover the sin of a whole nation for a whole year how long can the blood the redeeming blood and the cleansing blood of our lord jesus christ our savior cover your sins for this is how we belittle the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of a bull could cover the sin of a whole nation for a whole year. And we believers doubt if our sins in our entire lives are covered by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to encourage you that yes, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ shed for the remission of our sins at the cross has completely removed our sins in our entire lives. That is the purpose of God sending his son to earth to save us from our sins. And that is the reason why Jesus' blood was shed. Remember, his blood wasn't shed to stop you from sinning. But it's rather it was rather shed to bear to it rather shed to cancel the condemnation the judgment that awaits you at his second coming so if you believe in our lord jesus christ if you are a believer if you are born again your sins are all covered your sins are removed entirely so trust in the power of the blood and plead it constantly upon yourself and upon your household and even upon your possessions Amen. Drink from the cup. Brothers and sisters, remain blessed always. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ that we have by the sharing of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's blood for us lead us on super saturate us in all our ways and cover us and our loved ones wherever we go now and always amen remain blessed and don't go away listen to the teaching on the holy communion bye bye